In this video, we cross the Arctic Circle and we head to the end of the road. This is the Motorhome Experiment. I'm so excited, like we have been looking forward to this moment, to this intersection, this junction right here for a long time. She was a little hesitant at first, but now she's more excited. So we're about to jump in the RV and head up the Dempster Highway to Taktoyuktuk, which is as far as you can drive in Canada. So let's get rolling. Some people say we're crazy. We call it adventurous. Yeah, absolutely. So, let's go. <laughs> this would probably be a better way to go up to Tuck, what they're driving right here. Fun guys. It's not too bad. So when it's when it's dry, it's okay. Oh, there you go. So you have this RV or? Yes. Yeah. No, seriously, this is really what you probably should be driving to go up to Tuck, but. Off we go up the Dempster Highway to Tuk Tuk Tuk. We've exactly. had several people tell us that we're absolutely nuts going up here in the motorhome, but then we've had other people tell us that they saw a 70 year old guy up the road and he was in an RV with his family and grandkids. So, in the 40 foot class A. Yeah, so we're, we're, who knows? We may be nuts, we'll find out very, very soon, but uh, it's something that we have to do when we're this close. Wow, there are no emergency medical services in the Union section of the Dempster Highway, so behave. <laughs> Always makes me nervous when I see wood bridges, but we have seen 18 wheelers cross it, so we should be okay. <laughs> you guys have no idea how excited I am. Being from Canada, I've heard of Tuk 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 since I was a little kid. It is a tiny little village on the Beaufort Sea. The actual village itself, I'm sure, is not gonna be so exciting, but just the fact that it's on the Arctic Ocean in the Beaufort Sea is simply amazing. Up until November of last year, there was no access to Tuk 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 during the summertime, only the winter months during the ice road season. That is no longer the case. They have built a highway from Inuvik now up to Tuk Tuk Tuk. The Canadian government spent 300 million on it. How could we not go? We have to. One more thing. This is only paved for the first five miles. And then it's a thousand miles of dirt road. 500 up, 500 back. Let's do this. Here we go. Okay, 10 miles in, I need to report. I have no regrets so far. The road is in fantastic shape. It's a dirt road, but pretty good, pre shape. Pretty good shape. Onward. Okay, we are 30 miles in. We just crossed into Tombstone National Park. The road continues to be a nice, fairly well-groomed gravel road. And on we go. So taking our time, it gets dusty. People pass you or you're behind somebody it gets dusty, but that's about it. We pulled in here to the Tombstone Interpretive Center, get a little bit of information. We have a habit of driving by and getting the information on the way out and then finding out that we had some really cool stuff that we missed. So we're trying not to do that on the way up here. This is a one shot deal for us. I can't see us ever coming back here again. So we're going to do as much of this as we possibly can. We're trying to absorb it all basically. Because this is an experience of a lifetime and I really don't want to miss too much of it. We, again, we're not going to take it all in, but as much as we can. The people next to us just look at us like, oh my God, are you crazy? <laughs> okay, Lorena, the coach is a mess. Your car is a mess. Here, check this out. Look at that. The car is a mess. And this is not even bad. It's going to get worse. It is going to get a lot worse before it gets better but it is amazing so far. Just look at this around us. Holy beautiful. smokes. Absolutely beautiful, so. Wow. 
Okay. 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 Okay
We've been on worse paved roads. Oh uh, yeah, Maine. US yeah. one in Maine. Route 66. Route 66, some places in Oklahoma and New Mexico, yes. So, not too bad at all. And it is absolutely stunning out here. So, that makes up for it. We're currently driving beside the Ogilvy River and it is absolutely beautiful. We are here at the Eagle Plains Overlook and Lori is trying to get us to go inside because it's just starting it's to rain. Raining. This is crazy. Check this valley out. Kind of makes you feel like uh, you were an explorer back in the day, huh? <laughs> Except for the fact in you're driving nice in an RV. RV. With my bed <laughs> and my bathroom and my kitchen. But a lot of this is really untouched. So it is absolutely incredible. But yes, we are traveling in an RV and it's getting dirtier and dirtier by the moment. And it's not bad though. It's not too bad yet, but we haven't hit any muddy patches. But we're going to jump back in the RV and head up the road. We haven't hit our halfway point yet, which is Eagle Plains is kind of where we're trying to make it. But my my no. delusion was to make it all the way in one day, but at 45 <laughs> miles an hour, that ain't happening. So we're trying to make it halfway. Yes, my idea was three days up, three days down. He wanted to do one day, one day. Once again, her idea is more realistic than mine. It's probably in between. Now, Imagine that. But probably it's in between. Yeah, could be. All right. Waypoint, the Eagle Plains Hotel. They have fuel, they have a restaurant, they have a lodge, they have a campground, like all of that. Oh, and a tiny car wash. Yeah, you know, just about every type of vehicle comes up the Dempster Highway here to Inuvik and Tuck. Check those out couple of slingshots. Pretty cool. Okay, we supported the Eagle Plains Hotel. These crows are, one, they're enormous, and two, they're just so loud. It's crazy. <laughs> you can hear that screaming in the background. That's the crows. They, when you drive up, they immediately start screaming at you because they want food. But uh, Eagle Plains Hotel is done. Now we're going to head up the road just a little bit and spend the night somewhere up maybe the Arctic Circle, but we don't know yet. Oh, yeah. Did we tell you we're going to the Arctic Circle? I think we did. I've got to say, Lorena, that this is one of the most exciting things that I have ever done. We have done an RVing or ever, just been right here. Traveling and everything else. <laughs> We're at the Arctic Circle. How cool is that? We made it, honey. That is insane. And this is not the end. Yeah, and we're right, still we not it. to the end of the road, so this is going to be where we shut it down tonight and uh, we'll wake up here at the Arctic Circle in the morning and then we'll continue our trek north. We're sleeping at the Arctic Circle. We're not the only ones, if you can see. Yeah, there's, there's other people here as well and I'm tearing up because this is... Aww. It's something that I never thought I'd be able to do. You know, it's just one of those things. Of course, I thought I could go to the North Pole when I was a little kid. We're <laughs> going to go to the North Pole once we get so, to Alaska. Now that that can't happen, the Arctic Circle will have to be the best what I can do. About? We're going to make it to the North Pole we, in Alaska. We are going, well, we will go to North Pole, Alaska, but, uh, and, and we are continuing further north than the Arctic Circle, but this is just absolutely incredible. and Freya made it all the way to the Arctic Circle. She did, she's a champion. <laughs> you ready to get back in the coach? Yeah, I'm Jilly. only disappointed in one thing. What? There's no line. 
like I thought there'd be like a line where the circle went. Oh, you mean the circle line? Yeah, the, the circle, like I on thought, the map. I thought a line to take your picture. Yeah, no, no, a <laughs> line to take your picture. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta show you guys something. It's 11.49, Lori and I just got done watching a movie, and we're at the Arctic Circle. That's what 11.49 looks like at the Arctic Circle. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> at night, that is, yeah, that's not in the morning. That is nighttime, and, uh, we're done watching a movie and now we're gonna go to sleep. If we can. If we can. <laughs> it's awesome. Since I'm interrupting, you know what that means. I've been editing this video and I was under the delusion that I would be able to get all the Dempster Highway, the Inuvik, and the Tuk 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 stuff all on one video. That's not gonna happen. I'm gonna have to break them out into separate videos. So this is where we're gonna end this one. If this is your first time here, it would be awesome if you hung out with us a little bit, got to know us, and that means you gotta hit that subscribe button. And it would be equally as cool if you liked the video. I'm trying to be quiet because Lori's asleep, but we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye now. I wanted to have all of our Dempster Highway and Nuvik and Tuk 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 all in one video. I'm gonna have a hard time getting Tuk 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 out.